Alrighty guys, welcome to our pro slaying god. For god of war, we're gonna be fighting the breach keeper and killing him with zero hits. So in here, you just wanna dodge his shit to the left. And then he's gonna try to slam the totem on the ground. Dodge his shit to the left again. Uh, watch out for the orbs. Those orbs that run around, uh, float around, they explode and they can hit you. So then he's gonna teleport and he's gonna do this throwing icicle thing. And you just wanna dodge it to the opposite side of where he throws it. Because if you're gonna try to dodge it to the side that he throws it, you're gonna get hit. I've tried that many times, it doesn't work, so you have to dodge the opposite side. And then he's gonna go, again, the rotation thing, so we do the same thing again. Uh, watch out for the orbs. Honestly, the orbs are more difficult to avoid than his uh, totem slam, so yeah. It's not that really bad, anyway. Then he's gonna teleport, and basically he has two phases. We're just going into the second phase. And then when he does that, he's gonna push you back, basically, and you just can't avoid all the shockwaves to the side. Run in there when he stops. I think it's like four shockwaves total. Interrupt him. Start hitting him as much as you can. He's gonna teleport. And then just look for him. He's gonna bring out three dudes. You wanna kill those three dudes as fast as possible because they jump on you and sometimes they explode and do all kinds of messy things. So once you get rid of them, you're going back to your regular attack patterns. And then I don't know how I dodged that. Uh, probably in the civilian frame because I was totally in it. So, yeah, just slam the shit out of them with your R1s. I don't really use any particular crazy combos or any specific runic powers. It's not really necessary, and I'm, yeah, I'm just going ham, man, with my buns R1 and R2. Mostly R1, though, and I like the blades because they attack super fast. I don't like the axe. So, yeah, and again, he's gonna spa spawn these dudes. Kill them real quick if you can. I couldn't because he started attacking me, so I'm just try trying to avoid both attacks. And obviously I'm delaying his death now because of that, because these dudes are very relentless, man. So they're fast, you want to get rid of them quick. And then just go back to attacking him, watch out for the orbs. He's gonna teleport, I think he just went to a different phase, and he's gonna do the same thing again. But this time around, after he's done with his shockwaves, he's gonna spawn the four dudes. What you want to do is, is interrupt them. Because if you don't, and you're gonna go on the dudes, then he's gonna keep doing the shockwave again. So you wanna interrupt him to cancel him out of the shockwaves and then kill the dudes. And now he's gonna do his uh, different pattern because he's in the next phase now. He teleports from a distance, that does, does a crazy ground pound slam with his totem. So yeah, just dodge that out. He's gonna roar, which is good. And this is an attack where he spawns more orbs in the air, which is, I don't know why, it's really useless and it's like non-existent almost so it's just a free hit for you there he goes he does that back thing and then he teleports that's the that's the way you can tell if he's about to do that when he does that little totem flip to his back or whatever it's a really cool animation this is probably the best troll boss in my opinion he's really fun and he looks kind of cool and he's in health so why not right and we did it without getting hit so we're just gonna finish him off we're gonna continue following his pattern here and basically kill him now, in here, it's really weird. They force you to go into the quote-unquote third phase when he has, like, no health left. So this is the last thing that you have to go through. You have to do this. You can't kill him before that. So you have to wait it out. Uh, and then he's gonna spawn those dudes again, which is a problem. But again, hit him because he's almost dead. Kill off the dudes if you can. And then, dude is still alive, but it doesn't matter because he's, you know, able to be executed. And that is it. That's the end of him. And that's how you kill the bridge keeper guys without getting hit. So if you want to attempt this for yourself, go ahead. I hope this was helpful to you. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and share with your friends. And I will see you soon for more God of War guides, guys. Peace out and have a good one. Gaming in 60 people will be leaving you right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And know when a new video is ready for your viewing pleasure. Also, check out our official website at GamingIn6.com for latest daily news, featured articles, reviews, and more. Peace out, everybody.